In the previous lesson, you have shown good mastery of the concepts of Boyle's Law. So, i-analyze natin itong nasa animation about Boyle's Law. So, sa Boyle's Law, involved dito ang volume, pressure, and temperature. Pero kung mapapansin natin dito sa animation, ang temperature ay constant, ang gumagalaw ay ang volume at saka ang pressure. So, pag tumataas yung volume, bumababa yung pressure and vice versa. Pag bumababa yung volume, tumataas naman yung pressure. At mapapansin din natin sa graph na to, that is hyperbola. So meaning, if one quantity is increasing, another quantity is decreasing, that is inversely proportion. Therefore, volume is inversely proportion to pressure at constant temperature. Let us proceed to the next activity. Meron akong ipakikita na isang picture, tapos huhulaan ninyo kung sino yung nasa picture. Sino kaya yung nasa picture? Yes. Kung tama ang hula nyo, siya si Jack Charles. Sino ba si Jack Charles? Jack Charles was a friend's inventor, scientist, mathematician, and balloonist. The volume temperature relationship in gases was determined and named after Jack Charles. In his experiment, Jack Charles dropped a sample of gas in a cylinder with a movable piston in water bath at different temperature. Jack Charles found out that different gases decrease their volume by factors of 1 is to 273 per degrees Celsius of cooling with a rate of reduction. If gas will be cooled up to negative 273 degrees Celsius, it will be zero volume. So, yun yung naobserbahan ni Jack Charles sa kanyang experiment. Na habang bumababa yung temperature, bumababa din yung volume. Okay, tingnan naman natin itong animation na makikita natin sa uh, projector. So, involved dito ang volume, temperature, and pressure. So, mapapansin natin dito na constant yung pressure pero gumagalaw ang volume at saka ang temperature. So, kung i-analyze natin yung animation, pag tumataas yung volume, tumataas din yung temperature and vice versa. Pag bumababa yung volume, bumababa din yung temperature at constant pressure. So, i-analyze din natin yung graph uh, volume versus the temperature. So, what is the graph? So, na natin yung graph that is in a straight line. So, meaning, volume is directly proportion to temperature. And the graph is in a straight line. Okay? Yung nakita nating animation, that is Charles Law. So, ano ibig sabihin ng Charles Law? Charles Law states that at constant pressure, the volume of a fixed amount of gas is directly proportional to the Kelvin temperature. Mathematically, Charles Law can be expressed as volume is directly proportional to temperature at constant pressure, where V is the volume in milliliter 
and T is the temperature must be in Kelvin scale. Removing the proportionality symbol and using the equality sign, the equation will be as follows. V is equals to K times T or K is equals to V over T. If you are going to consider the initial and final conditions, you will arrive at the following equations. K1 is equals to V1 over T1. And K2 is equals to V2 over T2. Whereas, V1 is the initial volume, V2 is the final volume, T1 is the initial temperature, T2 is the final temperature. If the volume temperature ratios are the same in the initial and final conditions, then we will arrive at this equation. V1 over T1 is equals to V2 over T2. Ito na yung tinatawag natin na Charles equation. Task 1. A gas cylinder was measured to have different volumes at different temperature. You are going to complete the table with the necessary information. So we have here data on volume, temperature, relationship. For column number 1, we have trial 1, 2, 4. Column number 2, we have the volume reading in milliliter. And column number 3, we have the reading of temperature in degrees Celsius. Column number 4, we have the reading of temperature in Kelvin. So, sasagutan natin yung column number 4 in temperature in degrees in Kelvin scale. Note, to convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin scale, we are going to use the formula K is equals to degrees Celsius plus 273. So, sasagutan natin yung temperature. Column number 4, temperature in Kelvin scale. For learning task 2, yung data na nakuha natin dun sa table, ipaplot natin sa graph by placing the volume in the y-axis and temperature at Kelvin scale in the x-axis. So, makikita natin yung yung lalagyan natin ng graph, the volume and the temperature. Question number one, you are going to describe the graph. For learning task number three, you are going to apply the Charles law in solving problems related to volume, temperature, relation, relationship rather. Problem number one. An inflated balloon with a volume of 0 0.75 liter at 30 degrees Celsius was placed inside the freezer where the temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius. What will happen to the volume of the balloon if the pressure remain constant? Support your answer with computations. So you are going to give the, the given, the initial conditions, and the final conditions. Then, what is unknown in the problem? Solve what is unknown in the problem using the formula of the Charles Law equations. V1 over T1 equals to V2 over T2. Yun ang gagamitin ninyong equation to solve this problem.